While the treats that we have for you just don't end on the South African morning, the weekend edition, it's making, we're making sure that you come back next week, Saturday and Sunday, definitely to tune in. We had a Siloma Keka Ngube a little bit earlier on, as well as uh, Nothing But The Truth, as well as the team. Well, today now we're joined by Asanda Lusaseni uh, Mbana. Um, we also have, uh, well, you most likely know her as Msaiki, right? Yes, the Umuomi Umamanga, as well as uh, Fetch Your Life Hitmaker, is here in studio with us, and she's not... Not alone because she is indeed joined by Dubaz, which we are looking forward to actually having. We know that it's about the late last late last year that she dropped a bombshell on us, announcing that she's taking a break from the music industry. Man, I don't know what that was all about, but you know we respect her decisions nevertheless. Fast forward a few months later, we are now celebrating her project with Dubaz in Pomoloi of Johannesburg band Urb, Urban Village. That is, of course, what the band is called. They are both joining us now, of course, right here in studio. You know, I really just like want to throw right straight to the performance because I really can't wait for that. But you know what? Protocol must be observed. We yes. must do what we must do. We must talk. Very good morning to you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. I mean, you know, we're not going to talk about the bombshell that you dropped. We're here to celebrate you. We're here to talk about what it is you're about to do. I mean, just, um, Saki, the decision to come into uh, collaboration with Dubazi to do this particular project, what was the thinking behind it? So I've been a fan of a band called Urban Village and he's the lead singer and multi-instrumentalist that's part of it. It's a, it's a trio. Would you say it's a trio? Is it a quartet? No, it's a quartet. It's a quartet. It's a quartet. Yeah. Full on so quartet. Yeah. A, another incredible guitarist, um, a drummer and a bass player. And they are kind of like a staple in the live music scene in South Africa, and they've been touring between here and France. Mm -hmm. And so when they released uh, their last album through No Forma, we did a. I was lucky enough to get a sort of like we featured. Yeah, we, we, yeah. I, I was a feature on mm -hmm. the album, and Duas and I wrote together in studio, and it, it, it had like just the process had a lot of ease. And we just figured out that we work really well together, and there was a lot of circumstantial things putting us together. Also, working through Nyrox, we found ourselves collaborating a lot and in the same space. And I think, yeah, the album was just sort of like a natural progression from there when the rest of the team, um, the Urban Village team, saw how easy it was for us to create together. Yeah, you know, the, the process of creating something so profound, it, it, it also allows for vulnerability because Absolutely. you are bringing in a different aspect of yourselves, right? And you're showing them a different side to, to the music. Just talk to us a little bit about being able to collaborate in this process. I mean, it has been a journey, but I can imagine it's quite a vulnerable journey because you're saying, this is what we have for you. May you receive it. Absolutely. Uh, for me, um, you know, the beauty of being able to collaborate has been, has been something amazing, you know. Mm -hmm. Some of us we learn, you know, in school and some of us we learn from the streets, you know. And for me, throughout my journey of playing music, it has always been a kind of a thing of, you know, collaborating because for me that's how I learn, you know. Yeah. And for this project, there's a, like you say, there's a vulnerability because you don't know whether you're coming or you're going, whether you can receive something or you can give something, but it's that opportunity of opening up the space, you know to be able to hear the next person, to be able to share something. Because once the space is open, then that's space for collaboration. And something like this, something great like this then comes out of it. Yeah. What is the project? You know, if, you, if you're talking to somebody who is, is, is waiting on a Msaki body of work or a Tubatsi body of work, the collaboration that is the body of work, what exactly is the collaboration? And, and, and I suppose maybe even talk to us about the inspiration. Sure, so the, the project was called Synthetic Hearts and I think it comes from a line in, 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 you know, in, in one of the songs, but even the way that we wrote it wasn't very premeditated. We didn't say, well, we have a theme that we're going to tackle. It comes from a week of spending time seeing what comes up. And we have a third collaborator, a French cellist and producer called Clément Petit. Clément Petit. And he's um, in France right now, but we, because uh, he was sort of like the third force that was the, you know, the glue and the wild factor and some of his compositions and the compositions that we put together um, in fact, a lot of his compositions are the backbone of the project, mm -hmm. and we wrote and kind of interpreted some of the melodies. But other than that, it was also just the subject matter kind of took us by surprise that there's actually a thread, you know. But it's an album really about, like, I'd say a, a relationship or, you know, a space of vulnerability. So it's interesting that your first question was about vulnerability. It's, it, it is a, it's a, it's, it's an unorthodox romantic album yeah, about sure. coming going you don't know whether this is ending you don't know whether it's starting you don't know if it's you're in between things yeah. and i think that is the we find ourselves in non-perfect situations in life when you're interacting with other people and you're trying to figure out how the heart behaves 
-hmm. And so sonically, it's, you know, our voices. And, mm -hmm. some and because it's a project where there's two leads, we don't, you know, we share that lead. Sometimes it's Tubati's voice leading the song, mm -hmm. and I'm just a, 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 a backing vocal. And sometimes I'm leading the song, and you see, you feel his presence, or we're singing together against each other, or, 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 I mean, it's like, in fact, if I can give you a visual, it's like, sometimes we're singing facing each other, sometimes we're singing like this, mm. you know, and you <laughs> yeah. don't know, and that's like a, that's life, and yeah. that's yeah. relationships. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you're looking at each other, and sometimes you're not seeing eye to eye, and yeah. so... There's just a lot of exploring, you know. Yeah. Yeah. They call it a situationship when you <laughs> when you're trying to figure out where what's you are, going what's on? going on, <laughs> what are we <laughs> right now. But you know, um, it's it relates to the greater market because I think when we're all human, we've all had our hearts broken. We've all gone through the moment of uncertainty in relationships. We've all gone through the moment where we have to reach the crossroads. And I think what becomes so beautiful about music is that it allows us to, or artistic music that people actually give thought to, it allows you to listen. Absolutely. You know, and I, and I find that now more than ever, we need people who will sit and listen to the body of work and not just about feet tapping and clicking of the Absolutely. hands and the fingers, you know. Um, what what would be the encouragement in in people being able just to listen and are you finding that the market is a market now where you have to be intentional about causing the audience to sit and listen yeah. so for me personally when i when i when i compose or write or perform music or when i go to a show i want to be sitting right on the edge of the seat or really standing up and dancing you know, music is a beautiful collaboration between sounds and vibrations. Yeah. And regardless of the feeling, because feelings are diverse, you know, you could be sad, you could be happy, you could be uncertain, you know, but the vibrations, the music itself, it's supposed to take you there. I mean, I'm going to make an example with this album when we wrote this album. It was a kind of a thing where, well, look, I was going through personal stuff, emotional, physical stuff as well, but um, the music, the space, you know, the sharing the time with Msaki and Clamor in creating the music sort of started moving, you know. It sort of like makes one want to move, want to dance, want to speak, want to have a conversation, want to be open-minded and tap into a different space where you didn't even want to go. Yeah. Msaki, society thinks that vulnerability and weakness is, or vulnerability is a weakness. Mm. You know, that mm. if you show it or you feel it, you are weak. That if, especially if you're a person who's in the spotlight, you're almost like an Avenger. You're not allowed to be weak. What do you mean that you're weak? <laughs> what do you mean that you're not strong? What do you mean you can't take the flashing lights? Mm. The importance of the average human being, but also a person in the spotlight, to be vulnerable, to allow themselves to be vulnerable, and to be okay enough to ask society to hold space for them to be vulnerable <laughs> yeah i have i have views about this and i <clears throat> i think i think it's the reduction that we do to each other you know we reduce each other to kind of like bite size elements and i and i and i'm an advocate for all of our humanity and i think you know it's easy to look at people that you see from a distance and and distance them from their humanity and, and what I mean, this is what we create from. This is the thing that ties us all together. This is the God particle between all of us, like our humanity. And I think vulnerability is part of that. And I don't, obviously, as an artist, if we're writing about heartbreak and I'm sharing my first yeah. um, understanding of, you know, coming of age or, or, or a perspective, that internal reaching and and making it a public statement is an act of vulnerability yeah. and mm -hmm. if you don't understand that how are you expecting us to be hard shelled you know mm. we 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 are I, you know I, I say it sometimes that like part of the curse of being an artist is having this sort of soft porous skin yeah. yeah things just sort of hit you in a different way and it is almost our job to feel quicker the quickening of our emotions also keeps us more human as a society yeah. mm -hmm. because other people's jobs are to you know kind of do something else and to to cope with situations differently yeah. and sometimes your job as an artist is to just feel and to express 
Yeah. Yeah. Vulnerability it, is part of this. It, it very much <coughs> is. Uh, we can't wait for the both of you to to really indulge us and in, and and really bless us with your performance and your spirituality. Much appreciated for that. And I think more than anything else, it's beautiful to know that music actually um, gives people mm. the the words to say before they've even had the words. You know, you get to articulate those words before we even found out those words themselves. So much appreciated. And we look forward to having you.